Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 14th of 2020. Well, it is titled corn moon rising. So what do we see here? Well, this is five images of the moon as it rises up above the horizon. And you can see a couple of things change. And that is, uh, first of all, you see the coloration change from being a very deep red close to the horizon to more of an orangish to yellow as it gets higher up above. Now that's similar to the reason the sun changes color as it gets close to the horizon. When it's very uh, close to the horizon, you're looking through a lot of atmosphere to see it. And that means that it's scattering out all of the shorter wavelengths. So when you're very close to the horizon, only the very longest wavelengths, the deep reds can make it through the atmosphere. As you get higher in the atmosphere, you can see more of the colors and you get more of the yellows to the whitish color that you normally see for a bright full moon in the sky. Uh, we can also see on the moon, we can see the two portions of the moon, the lighter colored highlands, which are older and heavily cratered, and the darker color maria, which makes out the surface face faces that you see in the moon. The Maria were caused by large impacts long ago, many billions of years that have since been flooded in by lava. And anything on the moon, while I say that the highlands are older than the Maria, they, neither of them has changed for several billion years. And the moon looks much like it did a billion or two billion or even three billion years ago with only relatively minor changes. Now one thing that does not change that you notice is the size of the moon. The moon is the same size close to the horizon as when it is higher in the sky. Now sometimes there is a, an illusion that makes the moon appear larger near the horizon. So sometimes when you see the moon close to the horizon, you tend to think of it as larger than we're used to looking at it up in the sky. And this is called the moon illusion that the moon happens to look larger. But in reality, it does not. And if you actually look at images or make measurements, we can see that the moon actually is the same size regardless of where it is positioned in the sky. And it is something in our heads that is making us think that the moon is bigger when it's closer to the horizon. And we can see in this image that the moon really has not changed in size as it begins to rise and get further from the horizon. It remains exactly the same. Now this is called the corn moon associated with the time of ripening of corn. And next month we will have the harvest moon. And that is the full moon closest to the autumnal equinox. And that is often called the harvest moon when this moon is bright and high in the sky giving some extra time uh, during harvest time. So that was our picture of the day for September the 14th of 2020. It was titled Corn Moon Rising. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be asteroid ejection. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.